Okay, clear nightscape. Yeah, three notches, two notches down in the colour grid, three notches down in the darkness. Uh, so this is. So I've got this one, artistic nightscape, and I've also got um, uh, something uh, glow, a, gl a sort of soft glowing nightscape or something, which I think is slightly a little bit orange, but that could be adjusted with the colour grid. Uh, you know, so that one could actually be better if I spend more time, but I don't think I've got the time for that, fellas. But, uh, yeah, you might get the occasional plant down there, but I, I doubt it, because as I said, you know, plants have trouble crossing creek lines and stuff. So Now, somewhere, if we can get to it, there was uh, some sort of... Fellas, maybe maybe it's further up. I thought it was further back this way. Unless they built these houses since then. As I said, it was um, you know quite a expanding suburb. Yeah, back vistas. Anyway, I just hope uh, Trump does get to uh, 12.37 because, you know, in the bastards, uh, the bastards will keep really, really low until he doesn't get to 12.37 and then they'll, then they'll go for him, sort of thing. Oh, now we have to have a broker connection. Yes, it's going to be very interesting here, I think, especially as we get into 2017. I don't know, fellas. I'm sort of getting into the back end of the park and... I think the interesting rock pool is thing we want, I think it's probably... That's just around this corner, but I doubt it. I'm sure it was between that thing we photographed and the road. It was something, as I said, it was it was very interesting. It was like, sort of, unless they covered it up since then or something. Yeah, I thought it was a child hazard or something. Child safety hazard. But uh, if you, and I'll just tell you the back history. This is like what, 80 acres. So in other words, it's basically a, a, a 100 parcel a 100 acreage parcel of land that's had 20 acres uh, chopped off it. Probably the 20 acres was associated with the house and the surrounds of the person who donated the land sort of thing. You know, he bought, he got 100 acres and he's donated and his family and everything else has probably kept the other 20 that has the house on it and things like that sort of thing. So, you know, it's very nice of the person to donate this, but to keep it in perpetuity. That's why I film it now so that, you know, if anything happens to it, you know what you're missing or what you need to get back to sort of thing but uh, I, I my my uh, mindset is if you want to call it that is to not not nature conservancy I want to actually get land and turn it into the land you want for the plants you want something so I want to engineer uh, it's like engineering ecology sort of thing so that's what I'm doing all this potting the soil so I want to engineer the soils so you can grow the seed peas the best you can in them or or in, in any related plants sort of thing because you know the backstory to those that group of plants sort of thing and I think we've come through here before but this is this isn't why I came so I'll just have a quick brief film in here for you for another two minutes or something and then I'll just shoot back up there and see if we can find this bit of rock foliage or whatever it is because that was going to be the highlight of the day you know, I think, you know, just seeing what the state of the plants were you know how quickly do I have to pull myself up from my, my bootstraps to my 4k and I just wanted to correct uh, some of the things I did wrong at the grid site, you know, like the stabiliser and the zoom. And also to test out this sort of um, pan spot uh, cullen focus. So it's basically taking spot cullen but across, 
you know, the central grid through the, the central zone from left to right sort of thing. I don't know if that's what it's called, but... Uh, okay, so that's our bridge, so that means we are coming from it from a different area. Okay, so normally we go into that section, which is probably that little square section that we... Okay, so we've done that, so... Okay. So that's a quick way to get to here, right? I suppose. If I park the car, park, park the, uh, let's start that again, fellas. Park the car closer. So I think we've been in there. We know there's not too many plants in that section of it anyway. So I was, you know, but it's always good to look. But uh, yeah, I think that's, a, so basically all the plants are on that section, basically. Okay. Uh, okay, well, we'll take a, take a bit of a wander up here. Yeah, so we're getting true to like colour on the, on the zinc gal. I think you've seen this before, but um, last year, but uh, we'll try some colour checks on the... Yeah, that looks pretty good in the... So I think we're almost ready to go to 4K, but uh, you know... I'm still making these dumb and stupid mistakes and going from slightly wrong settings, you know, going from the right settings to another parameter and, and therefore the settings are now slightly wrong. So not getting the absolute perfect. Now, did we go through that thing? I don't think, did we go through that one last time? I don't know if we went through this one. I remember going through that one. So this might be a treat for you fellas if we go through this one. But as I say, it's early in the season. We're about two weeks, by rights, we're about two weeks too early for the start of the season here. We've had the one week of rain and it'll take another like two weeks for everything to settle down, plants to speed up their growth and plump up and then it'll be underway. It's seven minutes now, so maybe start a new clip on a new setting from here.